Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. It is not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Virgo placement you resonate with. Messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading info, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed. We'll pull oracles at the end, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, there we go, Virgo. Let's say Leo, could be dealing with Leo. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate that patience of yours. Thank you. Three of Wands is your first card out, followed by Major Arcana. The Tower card, Scorpio energy, Scorpio season could be very important for you. Some sort of waiting here. Some sort of waiting, also a card of manifesting with the Three of Wands. But this is saying, whatever you're waiting for, get ready. Tower and the Wheel of Fortune, get ready. It's coming. Queen of Cups, water sign energy could be important. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Waiting for love. Someone to give love to. We have the Emperor. Aries energy could be important. You're not seeing something. Whatever it is that you're waiting for, a lot of you have been waiting for someone to give this love to. Give all that love to. To put that love it on. Yeah, something to pour into because you've just been pouring into yourself forever. It looks like it's coming though. Unbeknownst to you. Um, and for some of you, it's from someone you probably already know. For some of you. Not all of you. Bottom of the deck is Temperance card, Major Arcana for Sagittarius. So, divine timing here. Divine intervention and divine timing. If it is someone you already know, clearly the time wasn't right at the time. For some of you, you're waiting for someone in particular. You have been waiting. So whether you're waiting for someone in particular or just waiting for love in general, someone that you can give love to, you'd be surprised who it is. I think you're going to be surprised who you're meant to be loving. Because the way I'm seeing it, she's not even seeing that this emperor's here. And this emperor looks like it's this person in the five of cups that with the regret, with the regret. Whoever it is, they've been um, restraining themselves, controlling the urge or the uh, or the or the the urge I'm getting to sort of uh, reach out. And I think that urge is no longer resistible. Because I do see there was some sort of regret here. Something must have happened before to have regret, right? And I don't think you're seeing that it's this person. I think you've probably written off whoever this is. But surprise, surprise, especially with the tower energy, that's definitely a surprise. Something you're not expecting, something you're not seeing. Some of you, maybe it's someone from a distance that might be surprising you. You wrote them off because they're at a distance, because they moved away. So you kind of put them out your mind, manifesting in general, you know, the next best thing. This or the next best thing looks like it's exactly what you might have been wanting. Divine timing. That's what it was about. Three major arcanas here. Sagittarius season. Scorpio and Sagittarius season could be very important. That's the rest of the year. But before the end of the year, timing wise, the wheel of fortune means fortune favors you. Right? Luck is on your side. The time is now very much a timing card too. That's like a grandfather clock, right? Something about timing. It's also fixed energy. Uh, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. What's the next one? Scorpio. So heavy Scorpio energy. But something about timing. It's like something. It wasn't It wasn't the right time back then. The angels and the, and the divine had their own little spin to put on it. And you know when the, the angels and the divine gets involved, their 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 spice be hitting different than our spice. You know their little razzle dazzle. It's like the most. It's it's miracles when they add razzle dazzle. It's a miracle. Our razzle dazzle doesn't compare. You know what they have planned is always more grand than what we have planned for ourselves. But you might not be seeing something coming here, something you have been wanting, and it looks like you're gonna get it. it looks like now's the time before the end of the season. Yeah, someone from the past here very clearly. Someone that you've had a very deep connection with, a pure connection with, a genuine connection with, if that was a, a question. The Six of Cups tells me definitely there was a pure connection here that the both of you felt. Someone could have definitely been restricting themselves. Someone could have been restricting themselves from telling you that they're coming back. They might want to surprise you. For some of you, it's a childhood friend you haven't seen in a while. Didn't think you'd see them. They might surprise you on the holidays. Mm -hmm. That's for some of you. And for some of you, it's definitely someone that you used to know. Somebody that you used to know. <laughs> that you've probably put your defenses up against. And just been focusing on yourself. Alright, let's see what the oracles got. If this is a love situation specifically for you, Virgo, what's the guidance? But this is huge though. Huge, huge, big, big, huge surprise. Like, you couldn't even have orchestrated this yourself. That's why... 
the divine had to do it okay calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations visualizations help bring you together so i think for a lot of you you definitely wrote someone off you didn't think this person was your soulmate surprise surprise they are it just wasn't the right time it wasn't the right circumstances the sauce wasn't right or this is for some of you, you have been waiting for someone specifically and you were losing hope you've been calling them in heavy on that manifestation energy with the three of wands here honeymoon enjoy bliss of holiday time together so for some of you it definitely is a, a long distance thing it's finally getting together finally able to uh meet this person or to see them again yeah heavy emphasis on holiday season though with that honeymoon energy heavy emphasis on the holidays which is definitely scorpio and sag season Scorpio season starts like next week, what? Or this weekend, actually. No? Yeah, this weekend. Sunday, I believe. Sunday or Monday, Scorpio season starts. And sad season is November. So before the end of the year, there's going to be a huge uh, surprise. Slow and steady wins the race, Turtle Spirit. Yeah. Something might have taken a long time, but the time is now. You were patient. You have been patient. The time is now. Time is on your side. And Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Yeah, heavy emphasis on like the whole divine is helping you get what you need. Bring the person you want to you. They have they have heard your prayers. They have heard your prayers. No doubt they have heard your prayers. The three of wands definitely have been praying. Uh, you know, for love in general or a particular person. And this also says your prayers and affirmations have visualizations have been uh, heard. Yeah. Might have seemed on the outside like it was taking long, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, it was, but uh, your prayers have been heard. Looks like the time is ready now for you to cash in. It's time to cash in. Get ready. You might not even be ready. You be praying and praying so hard for things and you ain't even ready. Confidence is your key to success. So this is saying, no, it's going to happen and it will. Miracles only happen to those that believe in it. Leo energy, heavy here too. And believe in the impossible. Mm -hmm. Believe in the impossible. As I said, I'm getting some of you might have written this situation off. Starting to lose hope, thinking it's not going to happen to you. And that's usually right when it happens, ain't it? It's usually right when it happens. When you're least expecting it. There's very much a least expecting it vibe here. With the Queen of Cups having her back turned to this Emperor. Guidance for Virgo, please. Yeah, that is you, Virgo. Just keep minding your business. Keep taking care of yourself. Act as if. Act like you know somebody's coming for you. Because better believe they are. Whether you know them or you don't know them. You'll feel like you know them. With that Six of Cups there, definitely a soulmate connection. You'll feel like you know them. Even if you were meeting them for the first time. Oops. <laughs> Lemire creating heaven on earth. It's happening. I gotta zoom in on this one for you guys. It's happening. It's happening. I'm not making it up. I promise it's happening. For those of you that this resonates, there's been someone or something you've been waiting for. It definitely is someone though. Let's not play games. It's definitely a someone. All right, Virgo, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. That was short, didn't it? Am I missing some? Yeah. I'm like, because that's short. Let's grab one of these for you, Virgo. It's happening. I just got so excited with the it's happening. But it's happening now. The time is now. No more waiting. Chances are you might fuck up today. That's fine. There's always tomorrow. I don't even feel like that one's for you. So I'm just going to pull another one. It didn't jump out the way that I like it to jump out. Guidance for Virgo, please. Someone's about to take action. Action's getting ready to happen. Surprise! One more card for Virgo, please. Nothing else? That's a bit much. Oh my god. But look at the one that does come out. There's no such thing as the right time. Trust yourself and do it. More about that timing. And you're in control. You're in control. I think that's the problem, though. You think you're in, the, you're in control, but you're not. So I'm just going to put that back, okay? You're not in control. The divine was. The divine always is. But now is your time. That's your reading, Virgo. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.